a while back I saw a picture on the internet of a cute little squirrel sitting at a picnic table just like this eating a cob of corn and I thought that was the coolest thing ever but the problem was I don't have a lot of squirrel activity around my house here even when I had the bird feeder here the dogs dogs would have none of it and the squirrels never really around the house area but I noticed back by the playhouse over here that the uh, there's a little more activity so after I saw them scurrying around and playing in the playhouse here I decided to uh, take it upon myself to uh, make up a little makeshift uh, feeder and see if I could uh, attract them and train them to uh, come and come and eat around the feeder here what I did was I went to my uh, favorite uh, corn cob store and picked up a, a handful of uh, corn cobs and I've been uh, rotating them on a daily basis on this little feeder here so all this is is a uh, took some some pine here and screwed it together and I uh, just wanted to see if I could uh, attract them to come and sit on these edges and uh, eat the corn cob like a little human at a picnic table and uh, at first it was a little bit slow got uh, a lot of bird action but sure enough uh, after a little bit of time the, the squirrel started coming and then uh, coming some more and then uh, turns out that uh, got in a little bit of a routine squirrels are, are coming on a regular basis so now today's the day to uh, get rid of this and uh, set up our little a little scene make a couple picnic tables and uh, set it up for the shot using my uh, prototype as a, a bit of a guide I'm going to uh, whip up a couple little picnic tables seats I made them five inches uh, five inches long seats are two and a quarter top is three and a half okay this is the the base to hold the seats and the legs I made that uh, it's eight and a half inches long two and a two and a half wide and I, I put angles on the bottom that's just for pretty sake okay so the seats are gonna sit on here like that and then these legs here I've got uh, I just made them square 7 8 because the, the barn board is 7 8 thick. So I just made them square 22 and a half degree angle on both sides. And I made them uh, 4 and a half from the long side to the short side. So they're going to just sit. Like that. Alright. So. Pretty straightforward. Put the screw in first because once you get together it's almost impossible to put the screw in because uh, you have to drill through the base all right so can be done but uh, you'd have to drill a hole through here but I want to get the screw in first now something to keep in mind you want to make sure you don't have a long throat on your screw if you can see what I'm talking about 
if you're using corn cobs, if you have a that throat there with no threading, it's going to be you're just going to spin after you get it through. All right. So try and find a screw that uh, has thread in the wood. here because uh, I was just fiddling as I went anyway but from the base here to the bottom of the legs I've got uh, an inch and three quarter all right so from the base to the bottom of the legs an inch and three quarter so a lot of a uh, lot of fiddling I think the d dimensions are uh, fairly proportional but uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get out there one thing I didn't mention and I should have right away I'm using corn cobs. I know a lot of you can't get corn cobs, but uh, a little bowl on the picnic table with some uh, peanuts or whatever works just as good too. You can screw the bowl down. Make sure you give a little bit of a, a little rain rain uh, rain hole that the water can can escape. But uh, anyway, we're just playing. So there's a picnic table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the other one. I think uh, I have a crazy idea. I'm going to uh, get a little carried away with so I'm gonna make the other one I'm gonna set this all up outside and uh, hopefully the next uh, few minutes will be uh, success and uh, some viewing enjoyment for you but uh, I'll leave you with uh, the footage and until the next one thanks for watching <laughs>